All right, so we are going to go back to San Francisco. Well, actually, we're going to go back to the Bay Area, San Francisco this time, and uh, to this ridiculous place where you should boycott. This is just this place shouldn't exist in the uh, for truck drivers. It's just not fair, especially for a new truck driver, because you literally have to back up three times at least. The least amount you can back up is three times into this particular place. You cannot drive into the place, um, and it is a three-way intersection, Four, a three-way stop all, all the way around. Doesn't mean people are going to uh, yield to you or anything. But uh, so first of all, the reason I say a minimum of three is that you got to back up to the scale to get your empty weight. Then you got to back up to the dock, get loaded. Then you got to back up to the scale again and uh, get your your gross weight, which will then which will then know exactly what the weight of the products that went on to, into the trailer. Now, uh, let's take a quick little look at the uh, the street view. All right. So I'm guessing if this is a place like this, there's probably no appointment time and people just show up whenever and then they get in line <laughs> and maybe you get a phone call later on saying, OK, we can get you in now. I've, I've, I've no idea. There are some places out there that do that. Uh, but uh, so this is a bail uh, cardboard recycling place. So people bring in their cardboard and then they get turns and get turned into bales and then it gets put onto containers or trailers it doesn't i bet a place like this doesn't really care too much about what happens outside their property as long as uh they get to uh load and get, get you guys out of there i don't know I, I just personally i think this should be this should this place should be closed down because it's just not fair for truck drivers all right now uh what did i want to show you so first of all what is this moron doing parked here knowing that there's truck drivers backing in all right now if we go over here right now uh, let's see so this guy's definitely waiting to get in this probably this guy back here just wants to turn but maybe we got this guy uh if we go over here sometimes like this gives you a different perspective of what's going on different something happens at a different time but now let's have a look what this guy is go that well, actually you know what that i from what i've read there is a spotter that does come out to stop traffic maybe maybe not all right now what you can do here you, you may not notice but on the actual pcs or whatever on the desktop versions of google maps you can change the date all right like as you can see on this day there was nobody there what a great day to show up to this place uh, but that was back in 2014. Uh, this is May 2019. Um, still busy, but no, not, not as much, I suppose. Now, of course, every time I move, it changes the time and date. Anyway, okay. So here's a better view of the scale. Now, when you are done getting loaded and you've backed up for the third and fingers crossed last time, uh now you want to you want to like check your weights so you're not going to be able to check your weights individually but you can check your trailer first all right so you back up check your trailer weight all right and see what that is all right fingers crossed that it's under uh 34,000 pounds presuming you have uh, two axles if you got three axles then you can go up to 42 but anyway most of us driving are going to be dealing with two axles um and then you back up to where your drives are um are on well drives and the trailer so you take the, the gross amount from your trailer and your drives, and then you take away the trailer amount. All right, so let's say if it was 34,000 pounds, you take away from the, was it usually, if it's 34,000 pound on the, on the drives, it would be. <laughs> 68,000 pound. All right, so if it is 68,000 pound, and this is 34,000 pound, well, you're just about right. You'll probably, you'll probably get away with that. Now, if you are overweight, uh, you're probably going to be overweight on the trailer because a lot of times when places like this load you guys up, right? They, they load you heavy on the trailer. So that way, when you do back up all the way, they can actually take the the last couple of bales off and then you'll be legal. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and uh, show you what I would do if, if I was doing this for real, all right? And this is the maneuvers that I would do. So now I have tried to give you uh, basically where the cars could be. So first of all, I'm going to be honking my horn like crazy right here. Now, make sure your doors are open at this point. If you're backing in, because that kind of somewhat indicates that you're going to be, uh, that you're backing in. All right. Now, my horn would be definitely going on once in a while. Just a little toot, 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 you know, making sure that uh, I'm not going to get hit. Now, I'm, I am backing in over here. Okay. So, make sure you miss everything. And this is the room that will definitely be, should be available. I'm not going to say, I shouldn't say definitely, but now that I'm somewhat point, 
there we go now it might be ideal to get yourself in a straight line like right there okay that would be that way i can see in both mirrors see what i actually what i'm pointing towards all right and uh so now we can just do the straight back all right let's just zoom out so i can see where i'm going now we're going to be backing up onto the scale all right because we need to get that lightweight uh, i'm going a bit fast honking your horn the entire time all right and there we go so just do this is basically like an offset back slash parallel park okay so slowly does it well slow enough yeah i, I would probably be slow here if it was in the real world Ugh. there we go anyway so this is the first first step all right and boom we're in all right now we go from uh the scale now where the cards are positioned outside here where i have positioned them is basically where i was told where i should put them all right um so i'm going to stay a little bit more over here to the right first because i want to be able to turn as soon as possible okay now make sure it's clear maybe they've already stopped traffic i don't know i haven't been there all right so now i'm going to go hard left when i do go hard left i'm hoping that my trailer axles trailer tandems will get nice and close to this car and there we go now i straighten up let's go a little closer all right and make sure my swing isn't going to hit that car make sure i'm not hitting whatever and just whatever that black thing is now i probably could have turned a little sooner actually but i'm able to use more room over here on the left now there probably would be a car parked right there let's go ahead and stop honk your horn back up go back to the left i want to finish off at an angle Okay, so now I'm gonna finish off the angle, honk your horn. We can go a little quicker, can't we? And we will back up to the dock over here. Why does this place exist? This is so wrong. This is just really, it just shouldn't. Like, I'm sure there's way worse places. Obviously there is way worse places out there. And, and I'm just, cause I've never been to this place, but I've been to pretty bad places, but I don't think I've been to as bad a place as this. So I'll leave in the comments uh of really stupid ridiculous places just like this uh if it's not worse than this don't bother all right i don't i want to hear worse places than this okay and of course finally we go back we go we're all loaded now and uh so again i like to stay nice and close get maximize the distance maximize the room that i have out here make sure your swing does not hit that car back there and get now this probably this part is probably a lot easier than the other part Part. all right and good we're good it's probably be best to get myself in a straight line there but now we back up into the scale again now again i recommend and they probably would want you to do this is that you they want to know that you're legal before you leave so you're again you're, you're just gonna you're gonna weigh all your axles separately and of course when you do have a big scale like this you're gonna have to do a little bit of math and uh just to figure out what the drives are and what the steers are. It's very easy to figure out what the uh, what the trailer is because you know I could just stop right here. Boom, there's the trailer. Okay, and it just takes a little simple subtract subtraction. Anyway, uh, would I like to go to this place? Uh, yeah, okay. I would like to try it out. I'd love. I, I, I'm always up for a challenge. But this is what I do. If every every time that I go to a new place, all right, this is literally what I will do. I will go to Google Maps. I will, uh, I'll check out the aerial photograph. I'll check everything out. There's no traffic lights. It's a, there's a three way stop. There's probably, I, I don't even know what direction you, you would come in. I think maybe this would be the best direction to come in, but where do you even check in? You're not even allowed park over here. Um, do you have to make a phone call? I just don't know. Um, yeah. What a, what a silly, silly place. Again, this is this particular footage. Uh, so the newest footage will be two, would be June 2021. And of course, yeah. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Uh, please download my game. Please like and share. Please leave a good review on the game. Don't leave a bad review. <laughs> well, you know, silly. Anyway, get out of here. Good luck. Bye-bye. Safe driving.